Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on these DIY all the time cookie cutters. Let's begin. Now, first things first, you are going to need the design of your custom cookie cutter. So here I just have a printout of the cookie cutters I want, which is just going to be like a whiskey glass and a margarita glass, but it can also definitely be a drawing or even an actual photo of something itself. Completely up to you and what you want to customize. Now, once you have the photo reference of the cookie cutter you want to create, then it is time to measure the area of the object. And to measure the area of each object, you're going to need a long piece of string and you're going to use that string to run it along the outline of each photo. So here you're going to see me starting to run the string along the outline of this whiskey glass. And I use my fingers just to use it to hold the string in place to get a little bit more of an accurate measurement and then still adding an additional two inches at the end of the string just for a little bit of leeway just in case I need it when it comes to cutting out my cookie cutter. Now the material you're going to need to create the actual cookie cutter will be anywhere from a very thin aluminum or something called flashing. So I went into the hardware store looking for a strip of either to then just cut and mold but unfortunately I couldn't find anything but I did find this roll of aluminum which I think ended up being a lot better because I plan on creating many 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 cookie cutters. So to then measure out the roll of aluminum I have here I am just going to use the string that I used to measure the margarita glass and the whiskey glass to then measure and cut out each strip individually. And if you are curious about this strip of or this roll of aluminum you can find it on homedepot.com under RV625A. Or if you find the strip of aluminum or the flashing, then count your blessings and take many of them. So because I have to completely create my own strip to make the cookie cutters, I am obviously going to use the length of the string we measured and then the width of the ruler, which ended up being a perfect size for the width. So here I am just measuring out and stenciling exactly where to cut out my cookie strips. Again, just using the strings for the length measurement and then the width of the ruler for obviously the width of my strip. Then you just want to cut those both out and we are ready to move on to the next step. Now we are returning back to our printout sheet or whichever reference photo you are using for your cookie cutters. And an important tool for this step will be some long nose pliers. This is just a three in one floral tool that I have, but they will both work just the same. And a pencil is also helpful for molding our cookie cutters. And a very important side note, please listen. This aluminum is actually extremely thin and sharp, so do not run your fingers along the edge of the aluminum because you will slice your finger. It kind of feels like a paper cut because I did it, but a lot deeper. So please be careful when handling and maneuvering the aluminum strip. So let me finally get to explaining how to mold our cookie cutters. So the point of the pencil is every time there is either a corner or a curve that you need to create, you're going to mark it with your pencil and then use the long nose pliers to then manipulate the aluminum strip into that form. So here you had seen me with my pencil make the mark exactly where I need that curve to be. And then I use my long nose pliers to manipulate that aluminum into the shape that I need of this margarita glass. And some curves are a little bit harder than others. This bottom part of the margarita glass here took me about two, three times to get right for the curvature of this glass. But everything else was pretty much very easy to follow in terms of manipulating the aluminum into creating this custom cookie cutter. Now, another important step is whenever you have like a 90 degree angle, you wanna use your pliers and turn it quickly. So you want it to be one quick snap movement to create a perfect angle. And sometimes I go back and use my hands to mold the cookie cutter into exactly the line or angle I need it to be.
here I just wanted to show and reiterate the importance of creating a sharp corner again by using your long nose pliers and making the movement a quick one just to create a clean angle to then continue on with the rest of your cookie cutter. And an important step when starting and ending your cookie cutter is you always want to start and end it on a straight line. It just makes the last step so much easier when you end it on a straight line opposed to on a curve or in a corner. So here I'm just taking a pair of scissors and cutting the excess part of my cookie cutter off. And because it ends in a straight line, I just need a piece of tape to just close my cookie cutter and that's it. And you want to follow these exact steps for each of your cookie cutters, always starting on a straight line. So when it comes to closing your cookie cutter, it is an easy process using a pencil to mark exactly every time you need to create a new angle and then using your long nose pliers to mold your aluminum strip into your custom cookie cutter. And luckily the whiskey glass had far less angles compared to the margarita glass but I just wanted to show you the variety in which you can create a custom cookie cutter. So this one is basically just a square and very easy to make and then something like the margarita glass that had a lot of curves and angles and even right angles. So I just wanted to show you exactly the variety of which you can make a cookie cutter. So they're both possible something as simple as the whiskey glass or something a little more complex with a ton of curves like margarita glass. And to seal the cookie cutter, I am just using a strip of tape, making sure that I bind together both ends of the aluminum strip, just to make sure that when I use it against the cookie dough, it doesn't get full of the dough, which would become pretty gross. And do not forget to wash your cookie cutter after you finish making it. And here I am just putting our new cookie cutters to use, just showing you that they were extremely sturdy, gave me no problems whatsoever, and neither did the margarita one with the very thin glass. And just ignore the lines my nails ended up creating, they were extremely long so I had to learn how to work around the length of my nails. And back to safety, when using your cookie cutters, make sure that you use the palms of your hands very slowly and gently to press down on the dough, just to be sure that you don't cut your hands. And there you have it, your DIY all the time custom cookie cutters. These were pretty much extremely simple to make and I cannot wait to start customizing many other cookies. Well, thanks for watching everyone and please subscribe.